Hi. Hello. Today I'm starting a reading vlog. Why am I starting a reading vlog when I am crazy busy this week? Because. Because why not? Uh, because I've been wanting to do a reading vlog for my main channel, or my main channel. Hey, stop it! To do a reading vlog for the channel. Uh, because I've been mainly vlogging just for my patrons and like, doing one vlog a month is like kind of as much as I would have been doing before, if that much. Oh. So doing a second vlog, it's kind of a lot. Uh, not because of filming it. Filming vlogs is very, well, pretty easy. Editing vlogs takes a million years. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm vlogging. Um, this week, today is Monday. Cats! Would you like to be sprayed? Okay, where was I? Um, today is Monday. It is a work day. Um, and as is this entire week, um, I work from home, as I think you probably know. Cats! What is wrong with you? I've been chilling all morning. As soon as the camera's on, she starts, well, she causes chaos a lot, but like, especially when a camera is on. Why am I busy this week? Um, tonight I'm recording a podcast episode with Bethany after I'm done with work. Um, and on Thursday I'm meeting with a friend. I don't know if it's a secret. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm meeting with a friend, um, quite far. So it'll take me a while to drive there and then to hang out and then to come back. So like Thursday night is a wash, nothing will occur like that is productive. And then Friday, my brother's coming over because on Saturday, I am going to see Hamilton, like on stage, like we are going to see it, my brother and I. Um, so we're going to see a matinee on Saturday. So he's coming over Friday night and spending the night so that we can like chill at my place Saturday morning and go to the play together. Cause I live in downtown LA, so I live much, much closer to the theater than my brother does. <laughs> uh, so Friday night, nothing productive will occur. Saturday, nothing productive will occur because I will be with my brother slash at the theater. So Sunday might have the opportunity to do something productive, but that really leaves only, well, tonight, the podcast. So I really only have um, Tuesday and Wednesday night to like do productive things, including reading, editing of videos, etc. So, um, again, why am I vlogging? <laughs> Who the hell else? But anyway, despite all of that going on, here are the books that I'm prioritizing this week. Um, 16 Ways to Defend a Walled City. My patrons chose this for our buddy read. This is doable. I have the audio for this as well. Um, I'm not, like, loving the audio. It's not bad. It's not, like, Bear the Nightingale. Cass, can we really not with the plastic right now? No doubt you can hear it, but there's nothing I can do. Well, I could lock her in the bedroom and then she would just yell. The audio narrator is like, it's fine, but like, I don't love it. So I might, you know, flip back and forth. It's like audio is very efficient. My hold for the audio for Ship of Destiny has not come in yet, but my buddies for the read, Mark looks like Whoa, and Jade from Bedtime Workroom would like to start this week. So, I mean, it's a long ass book. So, I mean, I'll start it physically. And then if my audio comes in, then I'll probably do some audio. <laughs> then uh, For the Killing of Kings, which is garbage, but I need to finish it for the end of the month so that me and Heather can rant about it. Um, it's short at least, or relatively short. Um, so not looking forward to that. And then I need to start Dance with Dragons so that I don't wait until the day of <laughs> to try to cram all of this because it's, it's also very, very long. And even though the audio for all of Song Rise and Fire, except for Feast for Crows, where they got a different narrator, and he was great, but they didn't use him again for Dance with Dragons because because they hate me. But anyway, I've all of the audio done by Roy for all of the other books is pretty terrible, but Jimmy's already warned me that the worst of all is Dance with Dragons because Roy was like already getting kind of ill and he was like even older and like he wasn't <laughs> at like very good at his like at the peak of his abilities in Game of Thrones that like, this is like noticeably way worse. <laughs> so I did get the audio uh, so I might listen to a bit of it just because this is so so long and there's garbage trucks outside because of course there are garbage trucks outside while I'm trying to film. Uh, anyway so I mean it is efficient to be able to like do at least some of this but I'm still making progress like it is better to sit down and read it because the narrator is terrible for all of the books but um it is so long. So like if I can be making some progress in between when I sit down and read it, it's very helpful. So I'll do some on audio and I'll report back with how actually atrocious it is. <laughs> so 
that's what's on the docket this week. Those are the things I'm doing, the things I'm reading, the things that will be stressing me out. Um, so yay for that. Um, for now, I must say adieu so that I can finish my breakfast and also get to work work. Um, and I will talk to you later. Cass, what is that on your face? Do you not feel that? Do you not feel that? Okay, you're very adorable. <laughs>why I shouldn't vlog in a week where I am insanely busy. Um, it is now 8.30 p.m. and uh, I just got done filming the podcast episode for the chapter 3 podcast on, um, I mean, the topic being Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. I don't know if you know this about me, but I like First Law. <laughs> Glocktoy is my spirit animal. I have not eaten since the bagel that I showed you. So, um, that was my, my lunch. It seems too late to eat, but I also should eat. I don't like going to bed on a full stomach, but if I don't eat now, I'll be starving tomorrow. But also I need to read. I haven't read anything today, anything at all. And on my to-do list today, I put start this, read this, start that, continue this. None of it's happened. None of it's happened, baby kitty. No, no, we need none of it. Can you read it for me and tell me what happened? You want your dinner? Cassie kiss. Hi. How's it? How you been? Hmm? You're so cute. Can I boop you? No? Okay, it's fine. So anyway, um, I should eat and I should read, but I will probably not eat and not read. It's a wonderful reading vlog, I know. You're welcome. So never fear, I'm eating. I'm having, uh, I guess, a parfait. Vegan yogurt and it's vegan yogurt with banana and granola. That's dinner. While I eat this, or after I eat this, because I'm eating it right now. Um, I'll read Stone of Tears. That wasn't on my list this morning, but sorry. I'm supposed to start Ship of Magic. No, I keep saying that. Ship of Destiny, because my reading buddies are starting it. But they haven't said anything about starting it today, so. Might be off the hook. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just hitting the spot. Oh yeah. There's lingonberry jam in here too. Wouldn't want to mislead you. There's not a lot of sweet things I like. But banana and lingonberry. Two of my favorite things. So today, I also filmed some videos. Other than the podcast. Because you know, anytime I have to put makeup on, I gotta make it count. One of them is an Abercrombie video. Kel Supreme's. But the other one, I don't think I can post it. It is a review of Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. 
and by review, I mean rage and ranting. Non-spoiler, and then spoiler. And I think I'm too angry. Like, I don't think it's fine. I don't think I can post that to the internet. Especially because, okay, I said in it, and I mean it. And I've said this to many people now, privately. And I mean it, but I just said it so angrily in the video that if you like Norwegian Wood, like if you gave it any more than one star, and if you gave it five stars for sure, then I don't want anything to do with you. I'm like, if you are that person to never speak to me again. But see, I didn't say it the way that I just said it. I said it like deadly serious and completely angry. So like, I mean, people hated me enough when I was like, I don't get why Way of Kings is so good. Um, staring dead eyed into the camera saying, don't ever fucking speak to me if you like Norwegian Wood. <laughs> it's like, admittedly a little much. But also, was I kidding? Not really. Because if you think that book is good, I'm scared of you. Because <laughs> you think what's in it is okay. And that scares me. I guess if I'd said it like that in the video, then I was like, I am scared of you. Instead of like, don't ever speak to me again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can post that. <laughs> um, see, this is what happens when I film videos on an empty stomach. Low blood sugar makes me crazy. Although, the Abercrombie video is fine. I think it's fine. I haven't watched it back yet. Granola is a little bit stale. Whoops. I really don't eat sweets very much, including granola. I think I've had that bag of granola for a year. I don't think you're supposed to keep granola that long. I actually think I can read now. It's almost like food gives you energy or something. Okay, I feel possibly a sugar high. But regardless, it is energy. Candy cat, is that your butt? <laughs> Crashed my chin. I mean, because of course she did. Anyway, I hope I'm not bleeding. Might be. Who knows? Well, hello. You come to finish the job? Yes, precious. Hey. <laughs> Meow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, I have to go to the office today, so I will possibly put some makeup on. We'll see how I feel, although I'm leaving in like a few minutes, so I'm guessing not. Um, but I uh, will be, this is a reading vlog, I will listen to the audiobook for 16 Ways to Defend a Walled City in the car um, to and from, and uh, I'm gonna pick up on my way home uh, some basil so that I can make the viral TikTok green goddess salad. I have everything else. I was gonna make it last week 
so I still have everything that I got last week uh, but my basil started to mold so I need new basil <laughs> then I have everything else I have the cabbage and I have the cucumbers and I have I have all the things so I just need some basil um, and walnuts so yeah uh that's my update for you as you saw I had some tasty tasty oatmeal this morning um, I haven't done any reading for this reading vlog. Yesterday, no reading occurred. I didn't even listen to an audiobook because even though I said I'm going to listen to this in the car, I like I said, the audio is not really working for me. Like, I love listening to audiobooks, especially for complicated things. and It's hard to follow. Um, I'm saying that. So, I'll try in the car. And I might end up being like, nope, gotta start from the beginning again and read it physically. Hopefully not. But tonight... I don't have any plans, like I don't have to record anything or do anything or whatever. So tonight I can, in theory, read. So yay for that. Reading vlog will have reading in it. <laughs> um, anyway, I need to put some real pants on, I guess some makeup, and uh, get out of here. So I'll catch you when I get back. quite a mess but I have made the viral TikTok TikTok viral green goddess salad which the interwebs tells me food with chips now that's a salad I can get behind so let's see if it's that it all that it's cracked up I mean it's basically just like pesto on cabbage <laughs> so like I mean that sounds like it would be fine <laughs> like, I don't know why it's People are acting like it's legendary. It's literally pesto, but... Mm-hmm. It tastes exactly like I expected. <laughs> it's like pesto coleslaw, basically. So, um, yeah. That is lunch today. I'll probably eat way too much of this, but also I made a giant bowl of it. I don't think it'll last for that long in the fridge. Like, did this go viral because people don't know what pesto is? <laughs> like... Mm. I guess also it's what it's vegan pesto because like I've been making pesto basically like this for years because <laughs> like use the nutritional yeast instead of cheese and like and lemon juice to make it cheesy kind of tangy and then spinach to make it like a little healthier like a little it's basically the same pesto that I normally make just like they added shallots and chives which I don't usually do recommend so um i finished eating i didn't finish the entire salad my god um but i ate what i was gonna eat and uh cleaned up what i was gonna clean up i still have some things to clean up but i realized why am i over here when it's over there <laughs> i realized that i had some books come yesterday and the one thing that was bookish about yesterday was books arriving and i didn't share it so um you know it's a reading vlog and whatnot so mini book haul very uninteresting. It's, ugh, these three books. <laughs> so, Duncan Egg or The Knight of Seven Kingdoms with illustrations. Um, I'm looking forward to how short this is <laughs> after all the Song of Mice and Fire books. Like, whew. And then I'll, I'll be lulled into a full sense of security and put this off even longer than I normally put off the Song of Mice and Fire books um, in a given month and um, put it off to the end and then be late again. But anyway. Because we're continuing on after Dance with Dragons to Night of the Seven Kingdoms. 
And then Fire and Blood. Both of these I've never read before. I've read all of the Song of Ice and Fire before, but I've never read Fire and Blood in um, Night of Seven Kingdoms. So I'm looking forward to that. And then there's a, a vlog project that I want to do. Um, so I guess, Kaz! I guess this is spoilers for that future vlog that may never happen because I have so many ideas for like vlog projects, like not regular vlogs, but like a specific themed vlog. And then I just, I'm always like, oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Like there's like three from last year that I was gonna do and I still haven't done. Anyway, point being, that's what I bought this for. So this may or may not happen someday, but in the meantime, I've got it. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf in this very cool edition. So, yeah, so what the fuck? Anyway, those are the three books that arrived yesterday. And, um, and, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, I still have to work, um, a few more hours today. And, um, and then maybe I can, you can read or something. Crazy, crazy idea. Anyway, um, catch you later. Officially done with work, unless I get an emergency email, which is why I'm not going to check my email. <laughs> if I don't know about it, I can't do anything about it. Um, so I need to figure out dinner and then read. I'm playing the treats game with Kaz, which I think I've explained before. And she's struggling. She can't find the treats. Kaz, where are the treats? You didn't find them yet. Kazzy Kaz. Let's see if we can help you, okay? Over there. Over there! Over there! It's over there! Go get it! Right there! Yes! Right there! And you walk right past it. There you go! Is there one on the chair? Is there one on the chair? Maybe? Right there! Yes. Is it over here? <laughs> there you go. You found it, kinda. Lots of help. So I'm pretty pooped, I'm not gonna lie. Um it's been it's been a very long day. Um but so I I oh yeah, I did try listening some more to the audiobook for um, 16 Ways, which it's over there, but I'm not gonna go get it. And I, yeah, the audio's not working for me. And I could, why is your disgusting old crow on the couch, Kaz? Get it. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so back to me and my book problems. Um, yeah, like, I mean, I think I like the when I, I read the very beginning of it, you know, like. I, two years ago now um physically and like loved the style of it um when you're listening to an audiobook like you can try to like divorce the narration from the words and just like repeat the sentence in your head and be like how would I have said that in my head if I had been reading it physically so like his delivery is it would work if he was just reading like I don't know something quick but like he does this weird thing where like 
he like pauses after every sentence. Like he makes every sentence sound like the final sentence. Every single sentence. And like it's a style of speaking that I've heard before, but it like it, for an entire audiobook that does not work. So, cause you just like can't get a flow with that. Um, and okay, so like I told Alan and I told someone else that KJ Parker's authorial voice really really reminds me of Guy Ritchie like it sounds it feels like you're reading the move the reading the book of a Guy Ritchie movie that is like set in like old timey times so I guess King Arthur but it's it's so like the way that it like describes things in convoluted detail with like a lot of like dry humor and sarcasm is like exactly the way those like expository narrations are in Guy Ritchie movies like when he like monologues at you and I mean it's not Guy Ritchie doing it but you know like in a Guy Ritchie movie when someone is monologuing at you about like how the criminal underworld works or like how this particular trade worked or how this particular business dealing goes and all the connected parties and how they are associated and how they double cross each other and how it all circles back and whatever and it's like very quippy and quick and very snappy and sarcastic and very dry and quirky and yeah, like that's not how I can explain it. So it's like an entire book that's like that. Which like I'm a huge fan of Guy Ritchie movies. So like that's I love it. So in my perfect world, <laughs> this book, the audiobook would be narrated by like Jason Statham or Mark Strong or someone like that. But it isn't. So I think that means I have to read it physically. It's not terribly long. But the thing is Having at least one book that is on my TBR as an ongoing audiobook is like the only way I can get through my TBR because then I'm always making progress because if I'm busy running errands and doing things and I can be listening and then when I have time to sit down I can be reading and so then like throughout the day for most of the time I'm making some kind of progress like unless I have to use my brain for something else like work but like some of the work I do like I can still listen to an audiobook if it's like admin data entry and that kind of thing but yeah so dance of the dragons like that's a horrible audiobook so yanks and clearly 16 ways is not working for me ship of destiny has not come in yet that'll be fine when it, i mean it's a great audiobook uh, or at least like the narrator's the narrator has been good for the first two installments so like i anticipate that being a fine audiobook and then oh yeah i'm definitely not doing any of the sort of truth books on audio because like for one they all have different narrators <laughs> and for two like the one that in particular does Tone of Tears I didn't like, but I also like, because they're all different, no. Um, and I wasn't able to find an audiobook before The Killing of Kings. Uh, well, that's not true. You can get one, but I have to pay for it. And since I hate the book, then absolutely not. Yeah. So like none of the books on my TBR, I can really do on audio. Like I've got Dance and I've got 16 Ways downloaded, but like I won't listen to those for the aforementioned reasons and explanations, so... What I'm saying is I am fucked. <laughs> As I have to physically read all of these books and the only way that I'm able to get through that many books in a month is because some of the time I'm listening to it on audio. So um, anyway, this evening I, I do have time to physically read so the audio thing isn't a problem. But I guess the reason I bring it up is because like I'm trying to think okay so which one is the priority? Like which is the one that now that I do have a minute to like actually physically read which is the one that's most urgent? I kind of feel like it's Dance of the Dragons because I'm going to get the Ship of Destiny audio pretty soon. I should anyway. 16 Ways is a much shorter book so I could get through it like at the last minute if need be. And there is no, I mean there, I'm going to have a chat with it, chat about it with my patrons. But like that's always like the first weekend of the following month. So I have extra time for that in case I don't quite manage to read it by the end of the month. But I do have a live show for Dance of the Dragons and I do have a live show for Stone of Tears. But Stone of Tears... I read it last year so like it's quite fresh in my brain like I, I really do want to reread it so that it's like absolutely fresh in my brain I'm not shirking <laughs> the reread but it's been many many years since I read Dance of Dragons that is not fresh in my brain so I think that solves it right when I've arrived at the answer what I need to read tonight is Dance with Dragons okay I'm glad we could figure that out together <laughs> Off we go.
happy Wednesday. Uh, it is late morning, early afternoon. It's almost noon. And um, I just had some frames arrive because um, there's some posters that I want to frame. My mom um, had these professionally framed for me. I'm not doing all that. Um, <laughs> so I just ordered some frames from Amazon. Hopefully they'll look nice. Um, uh, so yeah, you can watch me do that. Uh, I picked him up. One done, one to go. I haven't decided if I definitely want it there. Um, but right now, that's where it's going. I like it. It's a little small for that space, or at least a little short. I don't know. But if you don't know what this is from, it's from The Scorpio Races, the book by Maggie Stiefvater, which I love very much. Okay, on to number two. is finished. Remind me never ever ever to frame anything myself again. So sorry about the noise outside. That was so stupidly difficult to do. I will never ever frame something myself again. And um, I think it is now a good time to eat something. <laughs> uh, you know alternatively to clean up this mess. But uh, I need food in order to have the energy to clean up this mess. Are you sunbathing, baby? You having a nice time? Yes, yes. <laughs>
some small amount of progress has been made. <laughs> I mean, I've read like six, over 60 pages. And that's what that looks like for Dance with Dragons. <laughs> Not encouraging, but you know. It's more than I did yesterday, or, or the day before. Um, wow, yeah, I have not done any reading for two days. What an excellent reading vlog this is. Cat, uh-uh, stop it. So, um, I mean, obviously I'll talk about this a ton uh, during the live, but uh, there's you know so much more warging um, in the books than in, or in the book than in the show. Hey! Cat, stop it! Uh-uh! And I don't know, I think I, I, I don't know, I probably would have like kind of noticed it if Jimmy hadn't pointed it out. Um, but the fact that warging, the fact that warging is so similar to the wit in the realm of the elderlings, and apparently like that's no accident because Hob and Martin are friends. So that's cool. I mean, like, thinking about that more. Um, cat! She's been really into sharpening her nails on the furniture lately. Which is just wonderful! You little devil child. You think you're so cute and innocent. You are cute, but you're not innocent. Y'all done now? So that's, uh... That's where I'm at. Um, I, just, I need to be reading Hob as well. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen tonight. Um, I had some new tea arrive, so I've been sampling that. I also got a mug from them. Because, you know, that's just what I need, another new mug. But look how cute it is. It has this cute little stag on it. And it's fucking cat. Stop it. What does it say on it? I can't read it backwards. Oh, yeah, no airs, no graces, just fine tea. Kaz is gonna attack my hand again. Just, oh my fucking god, I'm in danger. Look at this little monster. Look at this little monster plotting against me. Kaz, what are you doing? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh god. Are you gonna attack me again? Please don't. Okay, yes, as I was saying, I've been sampling that tea. Fucking cat, stop it. Ah! Well, that was fun. Didn't catch it on camera, but Kaz's paw just came out of the couch, seized hold of the skin on top of my hand, on the back of my hand, and then pulled. So like her nail was like, I could see my skin lifting up and off of my hand. Oh my god. I don't know why I keep her around. <laughs> Certainly not for my health. Anyway, tea is good. And the tea thing worked out a whole lot better than the protein bars that I ordered because I ordered some vegan protein bars um, that were recommended. Um, not like personally to me, but like I saw them recommended. And they're vegan and gluten-free so I was like great and some of the flavors have peanuts and I was like okay not those because I hate slash am like teeny tiny bit allergic but mostly I just cats what the fuck are you doing what is this why why oh god please don't hurt me Cass, stop it why is this fun for you? Cass, stop it! This is not your personal jungle gym. <gasps> what I've been trying to say for like 50... Oh my god, loud music outside. This is just not my night. What I've been trying to tell you <laughs> is that I learned, because I, I obviously didn't check thoroughly enough, but Oh my god, why is that music so loud? So I picked two flavors that sounded good. Um, yeah, no peanuts, no peanut butter for me. Um, like, I'm not fucking kidding. Um, my brother and my mom would always eat, like, all my Halloween candy. Because, like, all of it had peanuts and peanut butter in it. And I couldn't even eat a lot of the candy that had been next to the peanut butter candy because it smelled like it. Anyway. 
point B. I chose non-peanut flavors. But I don't know why I checked now. I double checked. But I double checked the ingredients now when I got them. And all of the flavors have peanut butter in them. Or it's peanut paste. Which I'm like, that's peanut butter, is it not? Anyway, all of the flavors except one that I did also order but hasn't arrived yet. But like literally all of their flavors. Except for like that one. Has peanut paste in them. So I was like so excited to get those bars. And then can't eat any of them. So I'm going to give them to my brother. Uh, so he's excited for that. Luckily the tea situation is just fine. I am currently trying the um, spiced pear flavor. I also got, well I'll just show them to you. Let's let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Shall we go to the kitchen, guys? Okay, good talk. Let us to the kitchen where the new tea is. Maybe I'll just try a bunch of tea tonight. So yeah, I mean like this is the mug that I just showed you. This is the tea that I was just trying. It is, I can't really taste the pear, but it just like tastes nicely spiced, so that's nice. Then I got uh, jelly and ice cream. Uh, they had the Christmas flavors on the sale, so I got the Glühwein. And I got, oh, it's popcorn tea, that's what they call it, but like, I'm pretty sure I've had this before. Like, not from them, but like, one of my favorite things is green tea with brown rice in it, with toasted rice in it. And that's what this is. Yeah. Really? Right now? You just want attention? You've been quiet this whole time. Can I tell them about the tea now? You done? But yeah, it's green tea with toasted rice. That's like literally that's all that's in there. I mean, I drink that all the time. I decided to try theirs. They called it popcorn tea. And yeah, that is my little tea haul. Much more successful than my protein bar haul. What do you think, Kaz? Smell good? You knock it off the counter? Okay, bye. Word to the wise, don't make my mistake. These bars I hear are phenomenal. I was super excited for the cookie butter flavor. But all of these flavors have peanut paste in them. So if you can't have peanuts, then don't get them. the afternoon now. I uh, meant to check in this morning and then got sucked into work as one does. Um, got up early as I uh, don't think I've said it all but like 
part of my like daily schedule in 2022 so far has been or like I've planned to and mainly stuck to it um, where I've split up my weekday mornings between waking up early and writing and waking up early and catching up on like watching booktube replying to comments that kind of thing two things which like throughout all of last year I was always like I'll do that when I have time instead of making time for those things so that's what I do every morning now unless you know something comes up but I'm either writing or watching booktube or applying to comments on my booktube channel and I'm squeezing into that now also trying to write reviews on goodreads since that was one of my goals for the year is actually doing that again anyway it is uh at, yeah it's almost one o'clock so I need to make lunch so I thought I'd check in I might be able to sneak in some reading while making lunch and uh yeah tonight i am meeting up with hillary from bookborn um she's at disney um so i'm i'm not going to disneyland but um we're gonna meet up outside disneyland for like dessert and whatnot and to i guess she already let the cat out of the bag uh during our american gods live um that we're doing a tbr swap in march so Instead of mailing the books to each other, since we're going to see each other, we're just going to hand each other the books. So, anyway, um, I live decently close to Disney, but, like, not. And it's not, like, next door. So, after I finish work today, I'm going to, like, eat some food and then head on over there. And that'll be pretty much my night gone, because by the time I get there, hang out with her, and get back, won't be much time left. So, I'll probably listen to an audiobook. Um, in the car, on the way to and from, which will be probably Dance with Dragons, because I'm stressing about finishing that book. <laughs> it's like the longest book in the Song of Ice and Fire, and we're reading it in February. Who planned this read-along? I did, but who planned this? <laughs> Any hoosies. Um, just thought I'd check in since I haven't today, and I won't really be able to do much tomorrow or today. I meant to say tonight, but I said tomorrow, but that's also true. Tomorrow, I don't think I'll have too much work to do, like work work, so I might be able to squeeze in a little bit of reading time. But now that I've said that, it's guaranteed that there will be a work emergency. That's just how the universe be. I'm wearing my uh, Glockta shirt today because it felt, I don't know, it fit my mood. Slash, this is really comfy. I really like this. Um, this style of article of clothing. Um, okay, lunch time. <laughs> I'm about to head out to Disney, hence the uh, Peter Pan shirt, all set, looking festive. And uh, I just also finished editing my Norwegian Wood review, which will never see the public light of day because Hillary told me it's too spicy to post to YouTube. So I'm just gonna make it a patron bonus video um so all done i'll show you the thumbnail because i couldn't resist making a thumbnail for it that's the thumbnail i made for it <laughs> we'll never see youtube so anyway um yeah uh, it's late it's late um and i need to be heading out um what are you doing my child what are you gonna do while i'm gone wreck shit You've been sleeping all day. You should have saved all that sleeping for when I'm gone. You're just gonna be sad. You're gonna be sad? You look so fat right now. You're not fat, but you sure look it right now. Look how tubby you are. <laughs> I think you need some exercise. You need some exercise. Yeah? Can you let go? These are my six of crow socks. Please don't destroy them. Please let go. I want you also to know that I will be using my Peter Pan lounge fly backpack as my purse tonight and um, wearing a Disney sweatshirt even though I'm not even going to Disneyland I'm just going to downtown Disney but you know <laughs> gotta be festive um, so anyway yeah I will listen to Dance with Dragons on the way there and on the way back and that will be my evening so if I don't talk to you later tonight, then I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning and happy Friday. <laughs> I got back um, at like almost midnight. Maybe it wasn't midnight. No, I think it was almost midnight. And then went to bed after midnight, of course. And 
my did I obviously did not wake up maybe that's not obvious but I did not wake up at my super early pre-dawn time that I have set for when I want to get up before work to have time to write slash watch book too. Friday is a writing day or supposed to be but um, yeah I did not get up at the early hour that my alarm went off. I was like, nope. It is now after seven. Um, I might do a bit of writing <laughs> or and I have to like get to work and whatnot. But yeah, it was really fun seeing Hillary uh, in the flesh. Um, <laughs> she was like, it's really weird seeing you in 3D. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, so we talked for a while. And I have my books from Hillary now, so I know what I'm in for next month. And she has the books from me. I can't open this water bottle one-handed. I clearly have not had coffee yet. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I did not realize. So today, uh, I might write a bit. Maybe. I'm pretty pooped. Um, I might just review uh, some of the other stuff I've already written. So I feel like I did something today. Uh, then I have work. Um, hopefully I can squeeze in some reading today. Um, I think it should be a decently light work day. Um, and then I have to go pick up my brother. And I think my mom wants to watch a movie tonight. So I think that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, but anyway, and then my brother's coming over here. And that's the night gone. And then tomorrow, my brother will be here. So, uh, we'll be hanging out until such time as we have to go to Hamilton. I uh, have to go until we go to Hamilton and then hang out in the evening. And then Sunday, Sunday I'll be free again. So, I don't know, I think I'll vlog on Sunday as well. But um, I need to film some food videos for my food channel because I've gotten behind already as I knew I would. I knew this would happen. The thing is, like, to cook, it's easier, well, it's not easier, but, like, batch filming book videos is one thing, but batch filming uh, food videos means, like, making that much food. So, like, if I film, like, five recipe videos, that means I made five things of food that I have to eat. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have a lot of recipes planned that I want to film. I just have to film them. Maybe I'll do that Sunday. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll do it eventually. I have so much to read. I don't know about time for food. Um, that sounded bad. I don't mean that I don't have time for food. I mean, I don't have time for food content. Anyway, I need coffee. I need coffee. And yeah, I'll check in hopefully when I'm reading this afternoon. I did listen to Dance of the Dragons on the way to and from Disney. And um, yeah, what can I say about a book that I've read before but that has been so long? It's like nothing in it really surprises me, you know, because like it's mostly like unlocking the memory banks or like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's wild to me how much of Song of Ice and Fire that when I think of the books and what's in the books and in particular what's in the books that's versus the show, I, I'm realizing that most of what I think of as a Song of Ice and Fire is Feast for Crows and Dance with Dragons. Because like all the stuff that I like think of is like, oh yeah, that gets so weird and bizarre in the books. And like that's mainly what I think of. I mean, obviously there's, you know, the Red Wedding and things like that. But most of the stuff that I'm like, when I think of reading the books, I'm thinking of Feast for Crows and Dance of the Dragons. All that stuff is in those books. So like right now when I'm reading it, I'm like, here we go. This is it. This is the stuff. Uh, I just didn't remember that that's where it is. Um, so I'm not like terribly far into it. Actually, I can tell you how far I'm into it. Ooh, almost 30%. I am slightly less stressed about finishing this before the end of the month. But though I want to read it. The audiobook is pretty terrible. It's pretty terrible. So, like, it, I'm glad I've read it before. So, the audiobook isn't like forming my very first impression of all of this stuff. Um, mostly, I can like try to ignore the voice and just try to like pay attention to like which part of the story he's telling so I can be like, oh yeah, it's that part. Um, but 
Anyway, needs must. I need coffee and a nap. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, hopefully, when I've done some reading. I did manage to squeeze in a little bit of reading today, so I opted for Ship of Destiny. And I made it that far. <laughs> I made it to page 35. And uh, I must shortly be going to pick up my brother. So I will probably listen to some more of Dance with Dragons in the car on the way to pick him up. Um, and then not read anything until Sunday, which I guess I'll vlog. Um, I hadn't really decided what I was going to do about the weekend. Um, I won't vlog Saturday because my brother will be here. Um, but Sunday, I'll let you know how Hamilton was and we'll see if I actually read something. So, I'll see you Sunday. Hot take, I know. Hamilton was amazing. <laughs> Seeing it in person is different. Um, and I have to say, I think the cast that we had here, everybody except for Lafayette, or Lafayette slash Jefferson, I think I liked better here. Hamilton, like Alexander Hamilton, for sure. Because <laughs> I mean, Lin-Manuel is a genius and all, but he doesn't have the best voice. <laughs> and this Hamilton was not just better than Lin-Manuel, he was very, very good, just like, he just was. And the guy who played Burr had a really beautiful voice. And the guy that played George Washington had a really powerful, great voice. Every, I mean, everyone was amazing. The only person in it that I was like, oh, I miss the original is Lafayette slash Jefferson, but oh, so good. I'm gonna see it again. But um, yeah, uh, if you needed further convincing to see Hamilton, you heard it from me, it's amazing. <laughs>
it has been a minute since I last checked in. Um, and today is Sunday and it is coming up on noon. <laughs> um, this morning while I was tidying up after my brother's visit, cause you know, we make a mess. Dishes and I still have to put away um, the blankets he used. Oh, but I did most, basically, mainly the dishes. <laughs> Uh, and trash. So I listened to ugh, Dance with Dragons while I was tidying. So I've made some some respectable progress um, on Dance with Dragons. I am currently 35% of the way in. So not shabby considering I still have half the month to go. Well, yeah, half the month. Um, and uh, yeah. So yesterday I went to see Hamilton with my brother, as you know. Um, and it was amazing. I talked about it on my Insta story. Um, I went to bed way too late last night. Um, and I feel really exhausted today. I mean, we did a lot, but like, not that much. It's mainly, I think, I feel really dehydrated and really, and tired. I think from the fact that also I was like trying not to drink too much water because I didn't want to have to like pee during the show and I ended up having to pee at, um, the intermission anyway, which like at the Pantages Theater is uh it's its own adventure um so i guess i'm dehydrated for no reason because i ended up having to pee anyway um and then yeah i just got back late last night and stayed up late and because i watched started watching the recording of hamilton on disney plus oh last night because i was in hamilton mood um and so i'm having or i'm gonna have a lot of tea today i think uh, i had some coffee to wake myself up but now I need tea. So today, for what is left of it, um, which is which is most of it, it's not even noon yet, I want to make a significant dent in Ship of Destiny because my reading buddies, well at least Mara, has already begun um, or has is starting today and she's a faster reader than me and I'm like, well I did start it. I'm like 35 pages in. So if I can make, if I can read to page, I can read, oh perfect, I was gonna say to 200 and I was like, well whatever's the nearest that but a chapter ends on page 200. So if I can read to page 200 today, I will consider that um, a success. And if I don't read page 200, it will be a failure, but there will be no punishment exacted. So it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I just want to chill. Kaz, what are you doing? She's been trying to climb the walls lately and like she can't because there's nothing to grip, but she keeps trying anyway. Oh boy. Anyway, um, yeah. So for the rest of today, I'll probably listen to some more of Dance with Dragons when I finish hiding up, putting the blankets away. Um, but mainly I will be drinking buckets and buckets of tea to rehydrate myself and reading pages and pages of Ship of Destiny. And that is the plan. And then I will end this vlog today. So let's actually do some reading in this reading vlog. Make today count. Um, first 35 pages, already extremely interesting. Um, no one is surprised because we're talking about Robin Hop here. So, um, yeah, that is yes, baby kitty. What? What are you doing? Get it, get it. Come here. Ow, ow, ow! The people they want to see you. Want to say hi? You want to say hi? What are you doing today? What are your plans? Okay, good talk. Uh, uh, ow! I'm sorry I asked you your plans. I'll never ask again. Okay, bye-bye. All right. That's what we're doing. Off we go. I didn't ask 
she was sleeping in her clothes, but now she's gotta get to class all day. And how could you? Will you only feel bad if they find out if you could take it all back? Would you try not to abuse your power? I know we didn't choose to change. You might not want to lose your power. The heaven is so strange. I thought that how special you made me feel Like it was my fault You were the devil, lost your appeal Does it keep you in control? in control? For you to keep her in a cage And I swear you didn't know You said she thought she was your age How dare you? How could you? Will you only feel bad if it turns out that they kill your contract? Would you try not to abuse your power? I know we didn't choose to change. You might not. Wanna lose your power? The power is in pain. Well, it is coming up on eight o'clock and I made it to page 200. I did the thing. Um, and actually I might read some more tonight. That was my goal. So I thought I'd check in slash end the vlog. <laughs> Cause if I do read some more tonight, it'll be like right before bed. Yeah, uh, Ship of Destiny is so far amazing, unsurprisingly. Um, Robin Hobb's writing is just, I don't, this is uh, the opposite of experience of when I'm hating a book and I'm like, um, why am I not interested in this? Like, is it me? Like, do I just not like books anymore? They're describing these epic things, but I just like, I don't give a shit. I'm like, is, is it me? Um, versus reading a Robin Hobb book where I'm almost, it's almost the opposite where I'm like, why am I interested in this? Why am I so captivated by this? When like, oftentimes the scenes and the chapters are describing not, I mean, it's obviously interesting to me, but like, it's not really that epic and a lot of the time it's like in terms of the plot we've like inched along in the plot um and I'm just like can't get enough of it absolutely mesmerized by her telling me about like daily life aboard a ship and the intricacies of the relationships between the people and like we learn like a little piece of knowledge that's like oh, what does it mean uh, as opposed to like the big reveals in other books where I'm just like I don't care um, so I guess I just like slower paced books. I like that even small amounts of information feel like an incredible revelation because as compared to what we have known, it is more than we've known before. Uh, and it also makes more me, makes it feel more real to me because like, like the difference between like, you know, actual police investigation and like a crime of the week show where they just like figure out who did the murder, uh, bing, bang, boom arrest the person and we're done and on to the next mystery whereas like in real life it can take a very very long time to piece together something like that um and it's following up tons of tiny detail and and figuring it all out instead of like big aha revelations um so i guess that's what makes this feel real to me too is that like when we do get some more big big revelations they feel big because to more typically in this world, it's little things happening a little bit at a time to little people. And that's why the books are so long. <laughs> uh, I like it. But for people who don't like Hob, I think that's what they don't like. That everything takes a long time. And we're just in the muck of the detail of everyday life. I love it. I love it. And I was kind of right about 
is that it's spoiler? No, I don't think it's spoilery. When I said that the Mad Ship, um, it wasn't didn't really seem to be about Paragon as you would think going into it that it would be. Um, and that I was like, I think she's trying to make the point that all the ships are mad. And I think that's basically like I, it's not quite been confirmed in the way that like <laughs> I, it's spoilery to explain what I mean. But like she wasn't trying to say that all the ships are mad, but she was I think talking about all of the ships. So in that much, I think I was correct. Fair, I think. If you've read them, I think you know what I mean, and I think you'd agree. Yeah, it's also just been interesting reading these books while revisiting Song of Ice and Fire and knowing that George R. R. Martin and Hobb are friends, just in the ways that like some of their, the things that they seem to be interested in and their magic systems and how those function, how they overlap. Um, and they don't feel like plagiarism or anything like that. It's just these people seem to be on a similar wavelength. But, they are drawn to similar things in their storytelling and they're drawn to similar things in their lore and world building and they're similarly slow paced because Song of Ice and Fire is also that way where we inch along in the plot and we're scattered everywhere and it's a lot of little things happening that amounts to a bigger whole. So there's a lot of similarity. Um, like there, are, if anyone said Hob is the next Game of Thrones I'd be like no you're stupid. It's not the same at all but there are things about their storytelling that you can see why these two would get along. They're like, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is that I'm enjoying Ship of Destiny and I can't wait to read more, which is why originally tonight I planned to, once I hit 200, then to either switch to reading something else or to like listen to Dance with Dragons and tidy some more. I don't fancy tidying. I do fancy reading some more. So I think I'm just gonna read some more Ship of Destiny tonight. Um, but I am gonna end the vlog here. I think it's probably a stupidly long vlog at this point so i finally did some reading in it today so yay for that um but yeah let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about my thoughts and feelings and whatever you want to let me know i post videos on saturdays other random times above definitely saturdays so like and subscribe join my patreon if you feel so inclined and i'll see you when i see you bye